So you've heard the whispers in the biohacking forums. You've seen the acronyms floating around the longevity circles. And now you're asking the big question, how long does it actually take to see results from the peptide combination of CJC1295 and Ipamorlin? It's a fantastic question. Because let's be honest, when we decide to invest our time, energy, and resources into optimizing our biology, we're not just hoping for change. We want a roadmap. We want to know what to expect and when. In this deep dive, we're going to unpack exactly that. We'll explore why this specific peptide stack is so powerful, the timeline for results and everything from your sleep quality to your body composition, and we'll get into the fascinating mechanisms happening behind the scenes in your body. Hi, I'm Dr. Mike, and today we're navigating the cutting edge of peptide science. Before we jump in, a crucial point must be made. This is not meant to treat, diagnose, cure, and is purely for entertainment. Research peptides are not for human or veterinary use. Use extreme caution when entering the gray market and arm yourself with knowledge. Now, let's get to the core of it. The conversation around CJC1295 and ipa Morlin is really a conversation about one thing, growth hormone. This is the master hormone that in many ways dictates the pace of our recovery, the strength of our metabolism, and the vitality of our youth. Remember being younger? The ability to bounce back from almost anything was practically a superpower, a grueling workout, a late night, a physically demanding week. The next day, you were a little stiff maybe, but essentially good as new. That was a body swimming in an optimal supply of growth hormone. But as the years tick by, our pituitary gland, the diligent little factory that produces this hormone gets, well, a bit tired. Its responsiveness dwindles. The signals to produce and release growth hormone just don't hit with the same intensity. This is a natural part of aging, but it's responsible for so many of the changes we just accept as inevitable. Slower recovery, stubborn body fat, decreased energy, and even changes in our sleep patterns. But what if we could gently and intelligently nudge that system back toward a more youthful state? That's where our peptide duo enters the stage. Let's first understand the players individually. Think of CJC1295 as the accelerator for your body's growth hormone production. It's what's known as a GHRH, or growth hormone releasing hormone, analog. In simple terms, it mimics your body's natural signal to the pituitary saying, hey, it's time to get to work. It encourages the pituitary to produce and release a pulse of growth hormone. It's not a brute force approach, it's working with your body's existing machinery. Many common forms of CJC1295 also include something called a drug affinity complex, or DAC. This is a clever addition that extends the peptide's half-life, allowing it to stay active in the body longer, providing a sustained signal rather than a brief fleeting one. Now meet the other half of the team, Ipa Morlin. If CJC1295 is the accelerator, Ipa Morlin is the specialist that fine-tunes the engine and cuts the brake lines. It's a GHRP, or growth hormone-releasing peptide. Every system in the body has checks and balances, an on switch and an off switch. For growth hormone, the main off switch is a hormone called somatostatin. Ipamorlin's superpower is that it tells somatostatin to take a coffee break. It inhibits that stop signal. So now you have a beautiful synergy. CJC is pressing the gas, telling the pituitary to go, while Ipamorlin is removing the break. The result? A much more significant, robust, and effective pulse of growth hormone, some studies suggest up to seven times greater than either could achieve alone. Critically, Ipamorelin is highly selective. While it works on the ghrelin receptor, it does so without significantly stimulating hunger or raising stress hormones like cortisol, which can be side effects of older generation GHRPs. This makes the combination both potent and elegant. All right, with the science established, let's get to the timeline. What happens first? For a large number of users, the very first noticeable effect is an improvement in sleep. This isn't just about feeling a bit more rested. We're talking about a quantifiable improvement in deep sleep. The body's most significant natural pulse of growth hormone occurs during the first few hours of sleep in that deep restorative delta wave state. By supporting this natural process, the peptide stack can help users fall asleep faster and achieve more time in this critical phase. This is where your body performs the majority of its physical repair and memory consolidation. This effect can often be noticed within the very first week. Many who use devices to track their sleep metrics report a dramatic jump in their deep sleep duration and overall sleep score, sometimes within the first few nights. This foundational improvement in sleep quality becomes the launch pad for all the other benefits to come.
As you move into the first and second month, the benefits start to become more noticeable during your waking hours. The first of these is often a subtle but significant increase in energy levels. This isn't a jittery, caffeine-fueled energy. It's a more stable, underlying sense of vitality. That mid-afternoon slump may become less pronounced, and the motivation to tackle tasks, both mental and physical, may feel more readily available. Alongside this, many report enhanced mental clarity. The brain fog that can plague our busy lives begins to lift. This is directly tied to the neurological benefits of optimizing growth hormone and its downstream partner, IGF-1, or insulin-like growth factor 1. Research has shown that a healthy growth hormone axis is crucial for increasing something called BDNF, or brain-derived neurotrophic factor. Think of BDNF as fertilizer for your brain cells. It supports the survival of existing neurons and encourages the growth and differentiation of new ones. During this phase, you might also notice subtle cosmetic changes, improved skin elasticity, better hydration, and a healthier overall complexion are common reports. This is due to growth hormone's role in stimulating cell repair and regeneration. Recovery from exercise also starts to noticeably improve. The muscle soreness that used to linger for three days might now be gone in one or two. This is a direct result of the enhanced repair mechanisms fueled by that better deep sleep and optimized GH levels. This is the time frame where the most sought after benefit really begins to manifest, changes in body composition. It's crucial to understand that this is a gradual process of recomposition, not just weight loss. Growth hormone is a powerful lipolytic agent, meaning it encourages your body to break down and use stored fat for energy. It has a particular affinity for visceral fat, the dangerous inflammatory fat stored around your organs. So while the number on the scale might not plummet, you'll likely notice your clothes fitting differently, your waistline may shrink, and you'll see increased definition in your muscles, particularly in the abdominal region. Consider reported case studies, for instance, of a 62-year-old individual whose goal was to regain the fitness level of his college years. After an initial phase of weight loss, CJC-1295 and ipamorelin were introduced. What was observed was a profound shift in body composition. While his weight stabilized, he continued to lean out, gaining significant muscle mass and achieving a level of definition he hadn't seen in decades. This illustrates the peptide stack's power to not just shed fat, but to rebuild. Beyond aesthetics, this is where performance benefits really kick in. Users often report measurable improvements in cardiovascular output and endurance. Testing VO2 max, a key indicator of aerobic fitness, can show a notable rise even within the first couple of months. How does this work? Growth hormone via IGF-1 plays a critical role in enhancing endothelial function. The endothelium is the thin lining of your blood vessels, and its health dictates how well your vessels can dilate and constrict, which directly impacts blood flow, oxygen delivery, and blood pressure. A fascinating study out of Canada back in 2006 found that even a single administration of a GHRH analog like CJC could increase IGF-1 levels by 1.5 to 3 times for as long as 14 days. This demonstrates the powerful and sustained biological signal these peptides can create. In fact, animal studies stacking CJC and ipamorelin have shown remarkable improvements in cardiac remodeling. The heart literally begins to function in a more youthful way with better contractility and recovery. This points to profound systemic benefits far beyond just looking better. Now, it's worth noting that this metabolic transformation can be accelerated. Combining this stack with other tools like a GLP agonist, Retitrutide can lead to more rapid fat loss initially. However, many find that after an initial fat loss phase, transitioning to CJC and ipamorelin is ideal for building back quality muscle mass and avoiding the gaunt look. So how does one properly use this combination to achieve these results? The standard protocol is not to use it every single day. A common approach is a five days on, two days off cycle. Why the break? This strategy helps prevent pituitary desensitization. You want to keep the system responsive. By giving your body a couple of days off each week, you ensure that when you reintroduce the peptide, your pituitary responds with maximum efficiency. Administration timing is also key. The most beneficial time is typically right before bed in a fasted state, meaning at least two to three hours after your last meal. This synchronizes the peptide-induced pulse with your body's largest natural growth hormone pulse, creating a powerful synergistic effect that maximizes the benefits for recovery and regeneration while you sleep. The standard method of administration is a subcutaneous injection using a very small insulin needle into the abdominal fat tissue. It's a simple and virtually painless process. 
Now, what about side effects? One of the most commonly reported effects, particularly with CJC, is a transient flushing sensation. You might feel a wave of warmth or see some redness in your face for about 10 to 20 minutes post-injection. This is generally considered harmless and is actually an indicator that the peptide is active. Interestingly, this flushing effect was one of the reasons this therapeutic path wasn't pursued for full FDA approval in some trials. Too many participants simply didn't like the sensation, even though the peptide was proving to be highly beneficial. Other potential side effects can include some temporary water retention in the first couple of weeks as your body adjusts or a bit of tingling in the hands or feet. These are also signs of increased growth hormone levels and typically subside. It's important to frame this journey correctly. Peptides are not magic bullets. They are powerful tools for biological optimization, but they work best when combined with the right lifestyle. To truly maximize your results and shorten your timeline, you need to have the fundamentals in place, a nutrient-dense diet, a consistent resistance training program, and good sleep hygiene. The peptides amplify the results of your good habits. Peptides operate by turning on genetic pathways that may have become dormant over time. As we age past our mid-30s, nature's programming starts to dim the lights on our growth and repair genes. Peptides are a way of reaching in and flipping those switches back on. When you optimize your growth hormone axis, you're not just affecting your muscles. You're turning on the gene for BDNF to protect your brain. You're improving neuroplasticity, making it easier to learn and form new memories. You're providing a layer of neuroprotection, guarding your most valuable asset against the insults of time and stress. The cognitive benefits are just as profound as the physical ones. You're improving your entire cardiovascular system, from the micro level of endothelial function to the macro level of heart performance and oxygen utilization. This leads to better stamina, healthier blood pressure, and improved cholesterol profiles. So let's recap the timeline. The journey begins almost immediately with profound improvements in sleep quality within the first week. This lays the groundwork for everything else. In the first one to two months, you'll start to feel the change. Waking energy, mental sharpness, and faster recovery from physical exertion become your new normal. And from three to six months and beyond, the visible transformation takes place. This is the period of significant body recomposition, losing stubborn fat while simultaneously building or preserving lean muscle mass. It's a phased process that respects your body's biology, gently guiding it back to a state of higher function and vitality. It's about restoring a hormonal environment that is conducive to health, performance, and longevity. It's important to source these compounds from reputable places that provide third-party testing for purity and potency. I've listed some reputable research companies that I've had experience with in the description below this video. Your experience may be different, so use your own judgment. Quality is paramount, as the precision of these molecules is what makes them effective. Contaminants or incorrect dosages can lead to poor results or unwanted side effects. The ultimate goal is not just to look better, but to live better. To have the energy to pursue your passions, the physical resilience to stay active, and the cognitive clarity to remain sharp and engaged with life. CJC and ipamorelin represent a sophisticated approach to age management and performance optimization. They aren't a blunt instrument. They are a conductor's baton, helping to orchestrate a more harmonious biological symphony. By understanding the timeline and the mechanisms, you can approach this tool with realistic expectations and a clear understanding of the powerful, positive changes it can help facilitate in your health journey. Remember, knowledge is the most critical tool in your arsenal. Continuing to learn about these compounds, understanding the science, and respecting the protocols is the key to a successful and safe experience. The synergy between CJC and ipamorlin is a testament to intelligent peptide design, addressing multiple points in the growth hormone pathway to produce a result that is both potent and aligned with the body's natural rhythms. The increased energy you feel isn't just a perception, it's a reflection of improved cellular function, driven by better repair and hormonal signaling. It's also crucial to remember the role of nutrition. An optimized growth hormone environment increases your body's demand for high-quality protein to support muscle synthesis and repair. Proper nutrition is non-negotiable. Resistance training acts as the trigger. You provide the stimulus through exercise, and the peptides provide the optimal hormonal environment for your body to respond, adapt, and grow stronger. For some advanced users, CJC and ipamorelin become a foundational part of a larger protocol, occasionally cycling in other peptides that target specific goals, like accelerated injury repair or myostatin inhibition for enhanced muscle growth. 
The journey of self-optimization is deeply personal. What works for one person may need to be tweaked for another. Paying close attention to your body's feedback and if possible, tracking objective health markers is invaluable. This isn't about chasing a fleeting image of youth. It's about reclaiming a state of biological efficiency that allows for a higher quality of life for longer. The beauty of this peptide stack is its ability to restore balance. By working on the master regulatory system of the pituitary gland, its effects cascade throughout the entire body, optimizing multiple systems simultaneously. You are essentially providing your body with the instructions it needs to access its own innate potential for repair and regeneration, a potential that often becomes muted with age. The timeline for results is not just a waiting game, it's a building process. Each week, each month, you are laying a new foundation of improved sleep, enhanced cellular repair, and better hormonal balance. The real-world results manifest as increased functional strength, the stamina to play with your kids or grandkids, and the mental resilience to handle a demanding career. Looking back after six months or a year, the transformation is rarely about one single dramatic event. It's the sum of hundreds of small, consistent improvements that culminate in a profoundly upgraded version of yourself. So to circle back to our original question, how long does it take? The first signs arrive in days with better sleep. The tangible feelings of energy and clarity emerge within weeks, and the significant visible and performance-enhancing changes solidify over months. Patience and consistency are your greatest allies on this path. This is a long-term strategy for enhancing your health span, not a short-term fix. If you found this deep dive into the timeline and science of CJC1295 and IPA moral invaluable, please support the channel, taking a moment to like this video and subscribe for more content on the cutting edge of health science really helps us continue to produce this material. And for even more in-depth information and updates, don't forget to sign up for our newsletter. You'll find the link in the description below. Stay curious and I'll see you in the next video.